Hello everyone, this is Daryl Christopher, and I've waited a long time to say hello to you. I've waited 40 years to be whole. The pieces of me have always been there, smashed and broken and smashed again. But this summer, I finally became whole after 40 years. And I have to say that I am done with wasting time and my tolerance for crap is no longer there. Now, I exist for one reason and one reason only. I'm here to get you back on track in terms of your progress. This is the first episode of my new series right here on the Reverie Soul YouTube channel. This is the first episode of the historical record of my imagination where it just fits with this world of layers and layers of complexity between the real, the imagined, the fiction, and the truth secrets, lies, but it's all Daryl Christopher. Now, this summer I went to Ottawa Comic Con and the words that I listened to most were from Billy D. Williams who said that the most important thing you can do is represent yourself as a brand. And believe me, Daryl Christopher is a brand. You don't know where I'm coming from. I might say the most politically incorrect, hurtful things, and then one second later, say the most loving, humane, beautiful things to you that will make you embrace life like never before. Now, you might wonder what I've been up to. Now, since there's no reason to believe me, I might as well tell you. I represent multiple governments. I work with the government of the government, the government of the earth, and most importantly, I work for the Dominion, the establishment. Where I'm from, who created me, in the future that becomes the past, that would be the Atlan Imperium, which I will be soon incorporating. Now, you might remember my first business initiative, which failed tragically, and I remember every hurtful thing anyone ever said to me. And just like I remember what was done to me as a child, and where my life went. But I've become very wise and you have to fail in order to learn how to succeed. Believe me, no one will stop me in terms of my revenge. And believe me, this is revenge. For years I've been waiting. And it's been a long time that I've been waiting to rise again. Now, this time, I go with the name of the business that will not fail. I will go with the name of the business that will succeed, where I fight and I never quit and I will win. That's why I haven't launched anything yet, because I wanted to be ready first. Now, we're going to start off with three business initiatives. Number one, events. The Walking Fed is back on track. I'll be using a little bit of funding to start my first event. I'm going to be buying a new computer that is faster and better than the one that I had before. I'm going to be building a website. You'll be able to see what we're all about at www.atlanimperium.com.
www.thepowerofpositivity.com. So be ready for it. It's not there yet, but it's coming. I'm also going to be introducing an advisory business. I'm going to specialize in belief system technology. So whether you're Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Hindu, Confucian, whatever, I will help you interpret your beliefs so that you match them up with the modern world in the 21st century so that you become more strong, you become powerful, you become enhanced, you become better, you become more loving for your family, you become more profitable, you fit in just like everybody else. We, of course, are not losers like terrorists or people that go out and shoot other people. We don't think in such primitive terms. We don't break the law. We never go against the government. We do everything the government asks because the best interests of the Dominion is the best interests of the human race. Now get this straight. You think that war against those petty terrorists? I'm telling you right now that they were the biggest disappointment in terms of villains since the pack led and the Ferengi on Star Trek The Next Generation. Those guys die so easily. And if you knew what the founder of the Islamic State, and you know him quite well, Barack Saddam Hussein Obama. Yeah, that guy. He's the one that you Muslims should worry about. He's the one leading the jihad, the war of deceit, to destroy Islam from within. Now, the cat's out of the bag in terms of the money that was paid for the Saudi royal family to attack and send the so-called war of terror to begin. And those guys are no Muslims at all. They drink and those girls that you think that are prostitutes that are Christians or Jews or Hindus in name only. They're really Muslims. And in terms of his endorsement for that evil ice queen who only cares about herself, there's a club in Washington where they have a video game where they make flesh puppets out of Muslims. They mind control you. They have a base, a lunar base, where they transmit mind control and they send you out to do the stupidest things to prove to everyone that they should hate you. And I do not hate you. I think there's some bad people among you, but I've worked around Muslims. I've been surrounded by them. And you're just like everybody else. You, you work, you go home to your family, you love your children, you tell them to be good, and generally, you don't want to go along with everything. Just like when I was Christian, I was more pro-gay and more pro-women than any Christian I've ever met. So, don't hate those people, but hate the ones that believe the version of the Saudi Arabian Islam that teaches you to be suckers because really they take from you, they spend your money, they gamble it away and their money is drying up. They sold your soul. They've watched and laughed as hundreds of thousands of you got killed because they allowed it to happen. 
How many of the so-called refugees did they take in? They spend money to misdirect you because they work with the Islamic State founder, Obama, to destroy you from within. That's the real jihad. And to tell you the truth, I'm an expert in transtemporal dynamics. I study and have attained a mastery of reality alteration. Who I believe in, she could wipe you out of existence. Even the memory of you would be gone. I almost put the order in, but there was one Muslim girl who proved to me that you're human beings like everyone else and you're not bound by evil. But there's one thing that I will not tolerate no Christian nation will ever be ruled or dominated by anything to do other than what the Lord wants. And the Lord, oh, he's real to me, all right. But take a look at this. Take a look. Do you know the story of the Spear of Destiny? What killed Jesus didn't kill me. Want to kill me? Go ahead. They'll make another and another. It is illegal to declare me dead. Okay? I embrace life. You want to torture me? Go ahead. My secrets are encrypted in my dreams and imagination. Good luck. I could scream for weeks. I love to scream. I love to pretend to be weak. Go ahead. Do it. Now, I am the founder and creator of the Atlan Imperium. Now, I have a book coming out. And you might like to read it. It's called The Belief System. How to Alter Reality, Become, and Defend the Existence of God. It is now over 100,000 words, and it will be coming at you to offer you real solutions because your obsolete and primitive religions have no place in the world that I am here to help build. And believe me, I am here to help. I'm here to build and I'm here to make things better. No more self-interest, no more corruption, and no more of weakness and incompetence. We are here, and I'm the first, but there are more of me. I have over 15,000 in my network. And by the 2080s, more will come. By the year 2173, we will be the official religion of the government of Earth. All other religions will have to acknowledge our religion as the ultimate, where we set the stage. Now, what do we believe in? We defend the existence of God, life, the continuation of the infinite from all threats. 1,000 years from now, we create the first cyogenetic being. She will become empress of the first people of the first universe, the most advanced. And our rule that we live by is that interconnection is existence. We are all one part of one another and the ultimate form of worship is to become God. We don't obey God. We are what God cannot do. We are what God imagines. We control time. We control reality. We control existence. I understand what it is to use and exploit 
the military applications of thought and idea technology tactical systems so be ready if you deal with us to not win now i've spent two years fighting the supreme power empire you might know their emperor he is known as emperor elam Muralin. You might have heard that name before. He's the name of my greatest insanity and greatest failure. Where he comes from, he never lost. He had every advantage. He had every strength. He is, by far, the one you should worry about. He is the evil me. Now this year, there have been 1,432 temporal incursions that we have stopped, okay? Everyone from aggressive reptilian variant 11265 Alpha, who the human race and our friends defeat in the future. Now, if you wanna do the right thing, do not elect Hillary Clinton. If you do, the Dominion proposes this. Russia, Japan, South Africa, Germany as the Fourth Reich, and of course, Canada, the administrative nation of governance with Ottawa as the world capital of the new world order. And we will not stand for what Hillary Clinton does. If she is elected, four years from now, the concentration camps open up. The Mexicans, the Muslims, the Christians will all be exterminated. And we were the ones that liberate the camps, okay? I, myself, have a Polish heritage and a Polish last name. And believe me, I know something about that, okay? We were once called Untermenschen, subhuman. We were number two on the extermination list. Five million us, of us were killed in the camps. Do you really want that woman in charge who only cares about herself? Who only cares about what money she can get? Not about people? Not about suffering? Do you know that the Clinton Foundation will be the one who finances those camps? It all comes true. You know, it's interesting what you learn on the internet of the future where the technology is wireless and the technology is embedded in subspace and the internet is populated by millions and millions of artificial intelligence sentience and we didn't create them they were born from all that sloppy code right there and chaos so you better be friends with the internet and you better be friends with your computer i think that's the greatest tragedy of the 21st century is how many baby boomers do not know basic computer literacy. It's sad. I mean, I talk to people, I've talked to people across this entire country, the great nation of the Dominion, the great alliance, the leader in transtemporal communications and interspatial and interdimensional transportation. We are at least 10,000 years ahead of American technology because we are the secret power. We are the dominion. As America falls, we rise and we will make things better across the entire intergalactic human community. Now, the truth is, 
You picked the wrong side. We won. We went back in time. You know, there's a very telling quote from Star Trek The Motion Picture. We are the creator. We create the Atlan 1,000 years from now. They go back in time to the first existence, to the first universe. They create us and we become the origin species for all life across the universe. Thereby, get rid of, sorry, we get rid of multiple competing non-terrestrial, non-human, alien agendas. Now there is one thing that I will tell you that I don't often speak of, but 12 years ago I had my first encounter with a non-human, non-terrestrial, sentient species. They are called the shadow people. They are not the ones that you think of where they're ghosts of Earth or whatever. They're from another dimension. And it was by far the most terrifying experience of my life, being paralyzed and watching them swim inside me. But the more research I did, I found out that they weren't necessarily good or evil. They were merely curious. And some decisions, the tough decisions, go beyond good and evil. Now, for the last three months, I've been done with counterterrorism science. It was boring, disappointing. I mean, you guys are too easy. And really, the war is against yourself. Take out the royal family of Saudi Arabia, the ones who started the war on terror, the ones who played you for suckers, the ones who drink the whiskey and squander your money and keep you poor. As a gesture of good faith, I've liberated over 10,000 jihadi souls from hell. And believe me, that was not very pleasant because I spent 10 years in hell after my great failure. Now, I am casting the first stone because I don't believe in sin. We don't believe in death. Time doesn't exist. Time only exists here. We don't believe in the impossible. Well, I have one thing that I keep impossible. There's only one part of me that is evil. And that is where I keep Emperor Elam Miralan. Anyone who I damn shall go there. And it is a prison with no doors, no barriers, but you will suffer if you ever hurt me or my cat, especially a cat. The Egyptians were right. The cats are proof of the divine. Now, Tinkerbell, because of your incompetence, I've made her supreme leader of humanity. So, you don't listen to me. I'm powerless. I'm insignificant. No weapons, no lies, no guns. I break no laws, but my mind is a weapon and my cat, she's a power. Do you ever want to have your soul eaten you hurt that cat. Anyone does anything to that cat. Anyone does anything to any cat. And you will be damned, your soul eaten, and you will suffer with pain beyond death. Get that straight. Now, you probably wonder, how did I get whole? Well, I think... My good friends at the Mamadoswin Center at Algonquin College for setting me up with my first sweat. 
because that's exactly how I did it. I recreated a sweat lodge experience in this very hot summer in the heart of my home, right here on Maison Blanche Nepean, in my bedroom. And after 40 years of having my thoughts tangle up and tangle up, my mind is free. The pieces that were shattered and that kept on getting shattered are now whole. You know, 500 years ago, my family, my roots in Poland, they were peasants, but they were known for living better than the nobles. Take a look around you. Do you think that this is the place where weak people dwell? This is a place of power. This is a sound forge. I've enchanted this house with spiritual power. And believe me, there is no stopping me now. Because I'm not out to hurt you. I'm not out to destroy you. I'm out to make you strong and powerful and enhance you. Because what I've been working on for the last three months is the next war. And it will be brutal. It will be the worst war. Do you think that little war against terrorists is something that causes you fear and harm? Do I look like I have any fear against those homoerotic fun boys that sleep with each other at night, who engage in intense orgasmic anal sex with one another without even knowing it? Do you think all those dry Yazidi vaginas that you rape as if that was sex? If that was even up there with even masturbating? Come on. Those are boys. Muslim boys. And you rape them and you rape each other at night. Do you ever wake up with a sore bum in the Islamic State and need a laxative? You are all flesh puppets for the Islamic State founder, Hillary Clinton, all those guys. Because trust me, I know those guys and girls control you. And you look up at your moon and all it does is send psionic broadcasts telling you what to do, telling you to destroy your own religion, to make people hate Muslims, to turn people against you, to send your religion back into the Stone Age with those Saudi Arabian collaborators, those people that hate everything about Muslims, that say they're Muslim, but spend their money on the Muslim Brotherhood. Yeah, those guys should have their own float in the gay pride parade in San Francisco. And do you think we're any better here? Man, pathetic. You know, I am so disgusted by what our world has become. It's no wonder people will go for picking the losing side. Look at where we're at. This ghetto economy. The elite who make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and yet tell you that they're better than you, that tell you that you, sh you deserve to be poor and weak while they rake in the money while their technology doesn't work, while they keep you poor and yet never allow you to get ahead, while they jack up your electricity rates, even though electricity is infinite. You just have to know how to tap it. And those churches, boy, do they lie. Look at all those fake Christians who like having sex with young boys or telling women that Oh, 
your reproduction cycle has to be controlled and that you're less than men. And all these religions that all about the guys, where it's all guys together smelling each other, all those pheromones whipping around, a lot of homosexual action going on there. A lot of people now don't even know what gender they are. Yeah. And then guys. Guys, you are pathetic. Any guy who's a stay-at-home dad, please. You take orders from a woman, you have no equality. You want to know who's a woman who's worthy of respect? Any woman who's an event planner. Because those girls are responsible, they have their act together, they're natural leaders. Those are women that are worthy of being equals. What kind of man are you to take orders from a woman? Oh, do you have breasts that your child can suck milk from? Did you push a child out of your vagina to carry it around? with your little man bun? Oh, please. I see it all the time. You're weaker. You're more docile. Anyone who is not the equal of a woman is less than a woman. Any man who is less than a woman is less than a man. You disgust me. You know what? Clint Eastwood was right. He had a good phrase about what's been going on. You really are the pussy generation. You know, what? You didn't watch enough WWE or back in the day when it was what it was really called, the WWF? You know what? You don't have the balls you're cowards. You're weak if you don't vote for Trump. Because if you vote for that evil woman, believe me, it won't be very long before the Dominion is going to call the shots. We will talk to you, Vladimir Putin. You give us Ukraine as the new province of Canada. We will join with you. Germany, are you sick and tired of being betrayed by Angela Merkel? Isn't it time for the return of the Holy Roman Empire, the Fourth Reich to begin? A Reich that has the balance of both Holocaust and Hitler? You can go back to those cool looking Hugo Boss uniforms. In Japan, are you tired of being a weakened? Empire? Wouldn't you like to go back to the glory days of the rising sun? How about you, North Korea? Are you tired of being shunned by everyone? Wouldn't you like friends? Wouldn't you like to join us? How about you, Turks and Caicos? You want to join Canada? Here's your shot. How would you like to become a province? How would any American state that doesn't want to deal with Hillary Clinton. How about you join the Dominion? How about you join Canada? The real power. Because we are more powerful than you now. You get weaker and weaker with that president who's the Islamic State founder. Barack Saddam Hussein Obama. The one who is leading the jihad to destroy Islam from within. The war of deceit, he's the general. He's the one that drinks the blood of Muslim children. He's the one that told that father last year to kill his son and drown him so that that photo could make the bleed. What was done in Syria until Russia intervened? Vladimir Putin, you're not such a bad guy. I watch RT. I don't think you're so bad. And I'm Polish. And more than that, I'm Anglo-Slavic. My father in the 1940s was state-of-the-art genetic material. I'm Mark II. 
So trust me, okay? As long as you don't go back to those Marxist-Leninist communist ways, I'm fine with the Russian Federation, especially as an ally of the Dominion. Now, if we have to take control, let's do it. Because who wants a weak America that's going to lead the world into destruction, disorder? Look, Think about it. Vote for Donald Trump. Long live the Dominion. Long live the Atlan Imperium. Forever. We are God. We are the future. God bless you all. Jesus loves you.